Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. Um, one of the games got called off. Um, obviously, you know, I'm talking about Macclesfield for Alexander. I'll speak more about that and how I think the EFL can prove clubs from falling into this trap. Um, obviously, Macclesfield are in a lot of trouble. Um, I think it's financial play again um but i think there could be a solution to that so you know make sure you, you watch all of this and hear my solution how it could possibly be coming in, in the future um but anyway guys you know what i'll do so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is carlisle versus grinsby grinsby losing 3-0 away from home, uh, sorry, 3-0 at home to Swindon Town. Um, Carlisle drawing 1-1 um, away to Morecambe. Um, I think Grinsby results probably expected a lot of, you know, um, where the both teams are. Um, Swindon Town currently top with 39 points. So, you know, that's probably a bit expected. Um, more come and call our 1 1, as I've mentioned. Yet yeah, again, it's probably expected even more. Um, it's too quite close between the two teams. So, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Grinsby Town win. My next one is Cheltenham versus Cambridge. Cambridge beating Plymouth Argyle 1-0 at home. Great three points for uh, Cambridge there. Um, Cheltenham Town beating Mansfield 3-0 away from home. Great three points for Cheltenham as well. Um, Cheltenham going up, uh, who are coming in fourth position. Going up against Cambridge, who's in 11th position. You know, there's what? Uh, between, there's four points between um, Cambridge and Northampton Town is seven. Um, Cambridge have, you know, won their last game, which I've just mentioned. They draw and they lost. Um, Cheltenham, they're more on the um, formation, not formation, and um, you know, format table. Uh, they've only they won their last one, um, drawn the last three, and then lost. Um, so you know they got what four, six points out of five games. So that ain't too bad. Um, but as far as this result goes, I go for a two-one Cheltenham win. My next one is Crawley versus Port Vale. Crawley nil nil away to Stevenage. Um, I'm probably a di bit disappointed on the Crawley end of that. Um, you know, let's not beat around the bush. Um, Port Vale losing one nil at home to Walsall. Yeah, it could be slightly disappointed with that as well. Um, you know, the likes of Port Vale in 10th, um, you know, got nearly fallen into the bottom half of the table. Results go against them this weekend, they could be. Um, I think this game's going to be interesting. Um, but because of the, they both, well, no, uh, Crawley drew and uh, Paul Vale lost. I'm going to go a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Crew Alexandra versus Mackle, uh, Mansfield, sorry, not Macclesfield. Um, Crew Alexander, Alexandra, sorry. Um, game postponed. Um, it's supposed to be Macclesfield. Um, Mansfield loses 3 0 away to Cheltenham, uh, at home to Cheltenham, sorry. Um, so, Crew have had a week's break, 
which I'm going to go for a 1-0 Mansfield win. My next one is Lake Norman versus Bradford. Um, Lake Norian 1-1 one, one away to Oldham, great point for Lake Norian or Percy thing. Bradford beating Newport County 1-0 at home. Um, great three points for Bradford. Um, Bradford currently sitting in fifth position. Um, Lake Norian are currently in 19th position. Um, you know, doing okay considering they've only just came back up from none league. Um, I very much favour Lake Norian to stay up. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Bradford win. My next one is Newport County versus Stevenage. Stevenage 0 0 at home to Crawley. Great point for Stevenage. Um, I think that point actually lifts them out um, of 24th position and puts them in 23rd. Um, Newport County losing 1 0 away to uh, Bradford. Um, Newport. Newport's a bit hard to summon up um, of late. Um, you know, we've got, it's going to be 12th going up against 23rd. Yeah, I know Newport can play, so I'm going to give Newport one more opportunity. Um, I'm going to back them this week and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Forest Green. Um, Northampton Town uh, doing ever so well in 7th position. And uh, losing 3-2 away to Exeter. Um, can't quite remember how that game went. Um, Forest Green, on the other hand, um, obviously there's a bit of n not nice news coming out of there. I'm not going to mention any of that. Um, but by losing 2 0 at home to Scumford. Forest Green are currently in third, Northampton Town are currently in seventh. This game is more important to Northampton Town and because they're at home I'm going to go for a 3-2 Northampton Town win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Morecambe. Morecambe currently sitting in 24th position. Um, Plymouth Argyle sitting in 9th. Um, Plymouth losing 1-0 away to Cambridge United. Um, Morecambe, I uh, won one at home to Colorado. This game could be interesting for a matter of reasons, really. Um, one is to get Plymouth Argyle back to winning ways. I mean, after I've lost this week, they did win two on the previous. Um, Morecambe. You know, they're trying to get out of that bottom and um, bottom of the table. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Sulphur City versus Exeter. Exeter, 3 2 winners at home to Northampton Town. Sulphur City losing 1 0 away to Colchester. Um, I'm just going to give you the result for this one. I mean, Sulphur doing well in 13th. We all know who the owners are, but you still got to play the football at the end of the day. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Exeter City win. My next one is Scumford versus Colchester. Um, 
you know, Scunthorpe have moved up in recent times. I mean, they won their last three. They have not lost in five games. Um, it, I think Scunthorpe have proved that um, you know, if you get a run together, um, anything's possible. Um, Colchester sitting in eighth. They haven't lost in their last five either. This is going to be an interesting game. Colchester beating Sulphur City 1 0 at home. Um, Scunthorpe beating Forest Green 2 0 away from home. Great three points for Scunthorpe. Um, but for this one, I'm going to go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Swindon Town versus Oldham. Um, you know, Swindon Town currently sitting top of the League 2. Um, Oldham sitting in 21st position. This game's going to be another interesting game. Um, Swindon Town beating uh, Grimsby Town 3 0 away from home. Um, Oldham 1 1 at home to St. Oldham. That could be a vital point come. Um, made for Oldham, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Swindon Town win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Macclesfield. Now, we all know Macclesfield's game got postponed. I'll speak more about my it could possibly save cars, but obviously, it's just my opinion. Please feel free to put yours down below. Um, and Walsall beating Port Fell 1 0 away from home. Right, let's go talk about this Macclesfield. We all know that Berry um, folded, um, you know, went bankrupt or whatever you want to use because of the financial rules. I think, like the crew Alexander Gang, the EFL should let it go ahead and then take a percentage of what Macclesfield make. To pay off the debt, or what you know, whatever it is, uh, I don't, I don't think it's fair that every time the club's having to pay for it, and um, you know, you're taking footballs away from the fans, and um, and I think the EFL and clubs that do get into financial problems, if it weren't for the fans, there'd be no football club. If it weren't for the football club, there'd be no EFL. So I think the EFL, <coughs> excuse me. I've got to start looking at the bright picture. Um, I hope this game goes ahead this weekend. Um, you know, Macclesfield's doing well, sitting in 15th with, 20, with 23 points. Going up against Walsall, 17th with 22 points. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a show. big fat fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. If you press on my logo on the top right, right, right left corner, one one of the corners, it's a picture of my logo. If you click on that, you can subscribe to my channel from there. Um, but guys, anyway, thanks for watching. Share for them.